Okay. Probably gonna need a cane. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that you wanna do when someone comes close to you is get them off. And look, you wanna keep your stick back. So normally you'd be here. When someone starts to invade your space, you're not gonna leave the stick here. You're going to play keep away with the stick so that they cannot get their hands on it. When they come to this position, you want to, their hands are gonna to come to grab and I want you to cram and obstruct their vision so that you can then come in and strike that leg with the other side. Or cram and then hit with that talon. Now I'd like about a fist distance so that you can add your other hand readily to do baseball strikes if you desire. But if you're in this position and starts to invade, you wanna hide your stick, cram, and then go for that knee quickly or go for the talon, ideally go for both. Okay. If he goes for your legs, then you're going to sprawl. And you can sprawl by placing the stick in front of you, or you can sprawl by putting your stick, racking him straight down on top of his head. But if he does get to your body, then you're going to have to sprawl and get your legs back. And look, any time that the stick is placed on his body is good, because it doesn't even take a blow. Scott, what does it feel like when my weight is on you and the stick is on? Uncomfortable. Yes, so the stick is hard, it's harder than your body, and when the stick causes pressure, it's unpleasant. So you can use the stick, this is called, we call this a bracing strike, so come closer. So it, it, I can hit with it, I can rack with it, and again, if he reaches out to grab me with his hands, I can just hit his arms with it. It doesn't feel good. And like I said before, if he reaches to grab it, take it away from him, and then strike it can't get to it, I'm effectively armored like a little turtle, and he has difficulty getting to me. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the ground and show you some basic techniques on the ground to retain the stick and to defend yourself if you do get surprised and you do get tackled. 